hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i have a fun card today a little bit of stitching i have this rainbow hoop die embroidery hoop and i die cut it out in black cardstock here are my colors that i chose for stitching i will do pink and then orange yellow green and then pink again so i just did a simple stitch and then I will be using Lawn Fawn, So Very Mice, and then the How You Bean, How You Bean <laughs> buttons add-on. And then, so this is super fun. I really had fun stitching this rainbow. Um, I love Lawn Fawn's uh, new stitching dies. They're amazing. Um, I did have Spellbinders club kits, so I do have a few still that I still need to stitch um, so that's always fun and um, it just takes me a little bit to <laughs> find the holes and get the um, embroidery floss in the needle but it's super fun and I have a lot of fun and it also relaxes me um, I did this video last night and I slept really well <laughs> So that's always good. Um, and then this was my first time. There's my rainbow there. So this was my first time using these products. And I'm so happy I got to finally use them. I've been seeing everyone's card. And I'm like, oh, I have to use, I still have to use these stamps. So a little bit behind here. I still need to use the beaver, some of the beaver sets that I own. So and I know Lawn Fawn just came out with a new release and so yeah <laughs> um, so I'm just going to I stamped these out on Nina Solar White 80 pound I believe and um, I used some fluorescent Copic markers and then um, little details like I love that heart um, stitched heart that I stamped with Hero Arts ink there. I had got an ink cube from a um, one of their um, monthly hero kits. So I will link it down below if I can find it. Anything that I can link, I will link. And I'm using warm grays for my gray mice. And then I do use some um, E markers for my brown mice and that is a um, A2 stitched rectangle die from Lawn Fawn and just die cutting that little um, piece out for my embroidery hoop and then I cut out the the other part with pink cardstock I thought that was pretty I was gonna do some clouds um, so maybe on my next card And then I really love these neon colors. They're super fun and they always remind me of summer. And, and that is my new um, glue tube. I got a bunch of them at Michael's. So I'm hoping it's better for me because I've been losing my needles lately <laughs> for my big glue tubes. Okay, and I used my brother's scan and cut to cut them all out. And I definitely will have to make a new card because I have so many images, especially a bow that I'll have to add on to one of these cute mice. Or maybe I will put it on the inside of the card. That's always fun. I don't do that enough. So mostly everything I believe is liquid glue. I think I only pop up two of the mice and the sentiment. So I chose to put this needle in this um, cute little mice's hand because I felt like he was saying like, I stitched this card <laughs> or I stitched this rainbow. Super cute. They crack me up and 
I can't wait to play with the ones on the plane, the airplanes. And I love the thimbles. Everything is just so cute. And I loved mixing and matching the brown with the gray mice. So here's the sentiment. It says, you're so amazing. And I chose to use this pink embossing powder for my stash. If I can find the name, I will link it down below. It could be Wow or it could be um, Brutus Monroe. And it's really pretty though. So I was either going to stamp my sentiment with the pink ink that I used from Hero Arts, but I'm glad I embossed a sentiment. And then I'm just adding everything to an A2 craft card base. And then I will add my sentiment and then the last details are some glitter glaze from Lawn Fawn there and I will add some white um, gel accents using my jelly roll pen. So that is it for this card. I hope you like it. I hope you like the stitching. Thank you for stopping by.